let the peace, love, and blessings of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. The unity of God and His creation. Everlasting Gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, leader Olumba, Olumba, Obu, the supernatural teacher. First lesson, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. Second lesson, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 21 to 23. Therefore let no man glory in men, for all things are yours, whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world or life or death or things present or things to come, all are yours, and ye are Christ, and Christ is God's. Golden text, Matthew chapter 23, verses 9 to 10. And call no man your father upon earth, for one is your father which is in heaven. Neither be ye called master, for one is your master, even Christ. We are one. Introductory spiritual choruses. We are one. We are one. We are one in the Lord. I and my Father are one. If you love me, you will love my Father. For I and my Father are one. Quote, brethren, the present of evil in the world is as a result of ignorance of the people of the world about the presence of God on earth. It is expected that every Christian should own a copy of the Bible. Why is it then that people are still ignorant of the cause of events in the world today? The very first book. Our gospel published here in this kingdom is known as what is brotherhood had revealed all these things to you but many still do not believe God is the Lord of the entire world he is the owner and leader of the other creatures he has neither deputy nor assistant in this divine administration we are all one in him whether you are black or white the pigment of your skin is not important god created you as such you are his property fishes in the water animals in the bush trees in the forest and all other creatures belong to god in short everything in heaven and under the sun belongs to god Moreover, he is the sole controller of all spirits. He is also in everything, and that is why you should avoid killing any living thing, because it invariably means that you have killed God. For instance, any living thing is a spirit, be it a cockroach or a lizard, a rat or mosquito or an ant it should not be killed if you kill any of these creatures you have killed god and if you feed them you have equally fed god your body is god you should not be worried when bitten by a mosquito because your entire body belongs to god he also, he also owns the mosquitoes. If you provide food for the goats, 
or any other type of animal you have indirectly feeding God the reverse is also true if you kill a goat or a hen or any other animal bird or fish it means you have indirectly killed God it is because of this awareness that you are enjoined to go and make the entire world one you have been advised by the scripture not to segregate yourself from others because it amounts to crucifying Christ again and the consequences of such an act is deadly. What brings about death? Problems, poverty, frustration, suffering and untold hardship in the world today is segregation. Whoever segregates does not know God. Those that practice nepotism either in the office or in whatever capacity they are antichrist. There should be no preferential treatment for anyone, man or woman, because we are all one in the Lord Jesus Christ. This should as eluded the scientists, the astronomers, the astronauts, and others who claim to be men of great wisdom, all the professors and the researchers throughout the world with their academic knowledge are empty because they are devoid of this wisdom of God. Until they imbibe the teachings of the Holy Spirit, peace will continue to elude their work. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, in the book of Matthew chapter 12 verse 25 that every kingdom divided against itself is brought to dissolution and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand so brethren God alone is the ruler and owner of all things if you curse someone you are cursing God if you hate someone you hate God if you kill a fellow person, it means you have killed God. On the other hand, if you love your fellow people, you are invariably love God. If you feed someone, you are feeding God. If you give money or clothing to someone, you are giving it to God. Of a truth, whatever you do to others, you are doing it to God. The truth is is hidden from the world these things you hear every day are hidden from the entire world if a man is killed here an animal is bound to die somewhere else also if an animal is killed here a man is bound to die somewhere else this is because we are all one in spirit. As a spirit, God dwells in everything. He unifies all his creation in himself. It is as a result of this that God does not give absolute power to anyone. No one can do anything according to his personal wish or desire because this would deprive others of their God-given rights. You are not placed in a particular position because of your worthiness, but purely for the sake of His infinite love and mercy. His infinite mercy to all people is meant to grant peace and harmony to the entire world. So let no one deceive you that there is distinction between man and woman do not allow anyone to deceive you that there is any distinction between children and adults we are all one in the lord also there is no distinction between you and the christ you are in christ and he is in you there is also that unity between god and christ as one indivisible entity but in all christ is the king he too is the owner and controller of all things 
He has no deputy. There are no smaller gods apart from him. He is everything and the doer of all things. Therefore, all glory belongs to him. There is no racial distinction, you know. All the blacks and the whites are one. There is no distinction between these two races. You realize that the ordinary water you drink is God. The tree you cut down is God. And the air you breathe is equally God. That was the reason why the angel of the Lord objected to being worshipped by John. As rightly recorded in Revelation chapter 19 verse 10 it says, And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have this testimony of Jesus. Worship God, for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. From the above portion, you are given the understanding that nobody has the right to bow down to anybody apart from the Almighty God, the Creator of heaven and earth. If you love God, it means you have loved everything created by Him. If you love God, it means you must love the fish, love the animal, the trees, and all other things. That is why he is called the omnipresent and omniscient God. The time of your foolishness is gone. It is time we retrace our steps back to the original order of life as it was in the Garden of Eden. Adam and Eve lived happily and peacefully with every creature found in the Garden of Eden. There was no segregation, there was no hatred or war. But right from the death, they ate the forbidden fruit. God drove them out of the Garden. And from then, the bond of unity of all creation was broken, suffering hardship, disease, pestilence, and all manner of woes started to engulf mankind. No one can survive in the absence of light, or water, and energy from the sun, and of course, the plants and other life-sustaining things. Everything was created for the sake of peaceful coexistence, the fish in the water, the birds, the plants, animals, they are all for the sake of a good life because there is that divine unity. Every creature has its own kingdom. But remember what has been read to you in one of our texts. He is the leader, he is the ruler, is the controller and owner of all these things. Furthermore, it was because of the segregation that existed in this world that prompted God to send His only begotten Son to shed His precious blood in order to reunite all creations. The present strife and hardship faced by the world will end immediately. There is unity between man and other creation. Until this present day, researchers, can, researchers cannot discern the accurate cause of the problems here on earth. Some researchers believe that women cause them. Others attribute the problem to men. Still, Others think that the situation is caused by evil and the introduction of money as a means of exchange. What do you think this evil? What, what do you think is evil? There is nothing evil apart from discrimination and segregation. 
the only unifying force is love. Therefore, if you love your fellow man as well as all other creatures, the world is bound to be in peace and harmony. God's rule is that the earth and its fullness thereof, including human beings, animals, and the vegetation in the kingdom, coexist in perfect harmony without inflicting pain and death on each other. This is because God is in all these things. He alone is the doer of all things. If you love, you are free from all problems. But if you fail to practice love towards all creatures, you are failed. God is the protector, is the controller and supplier of all things. As such, all the things we find surrounding us are kept in their proper positions as it pleases Him. Therefore, we have to live peaceably and in harmony with all the things that are around us. This explains the reason why I keep telling you that I have many things yet to impart to you. Our main concern in gathering here is not to offer prayers, to sing or dance, but to listen to the word of God and practice it. We are basically gathered here to receive the Father's teachings, which will lead us to the accurate knowledge of truth. We are also here to unite the world as it was in the beginning. This is the only sure way to restore peace and tranquility to the entire world. At the moment, many countries in the world are poverty stricken while a few others are very rich. Some countries are underpopulated and because of that they suffer. Other countries have people who are engaged in various sectors of the economy and as a result they reap the benefits. It is our responsibility to harness all the resources, both human and material, to enhance the peaceful coexistence of all, regardless of race or tongue. All shall be brought together in love, as it is stated in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 15 to 16. It says, If the foot shall say, Because I am not the hand, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? And if the ear shall say, Because I am not the eye, I am not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? If the whole body were an eye, where were the hearing? If the whole body were hearing, where were the smelling? But now how God set the members, every one of them in the body, as it are pleased Him. And if they were all one member, where were the body? That was 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 20. Now, now in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 20, it says, but now are there many members, yet one body. The weakness of one is the strength of the other. Brethren, the eyes are our vision, while the nose is for breathing. The eye cannot perceive the color of a thing nor can the nose provide vision. In the same vein, the hands cannot walk, but they are needed. The feet perform this function. On the other hand, the feet cannot do the work meant for the hands. 
all the parts in the body have their different duties to perform. God alone is the doer of all things. It is said in a local adage that whatever happens to the whites also happens to the blacks. The same suffering encountered by those on other continents are what the Africans are experiencing. Can you not see the problem in South Africa and what is also happening in all over the entire world? We are all one in the Lord, but the problem is that we are ignorant of this fact. Even the things you call ghosts and witches know that there is only one living God. If you knew that there is one God, but you keep on indulging in vices, what then is your reward? What also is the benefit of your claiming to know God? If the entire world were to know that there is only one God and that we are all one in Him, there would never be trouble anymore. Some whites erroneously believe that they are superior human beings and because of this many of them are ignorant, many of them are also arrogant. As a result of their pomposity and inflated self-esteem, self they have failed. God does not regard any particular race as superior to the other. The same situation applies to those who see themselves as more beautiful than others. They regard, they regard themselves as superior beings to those who are less beautiful. This is out of ignorance and foolishness. God does not have any regard for that, which is highly rated by man. Some who claim to be affluent have little or no regard for the poor. This is the exact thing that is causing acute problems in the entire world. Even now, the people of the world do not realize that their problems emanate from segregation and class distinction. The animals we find around us have their specific functions to perform. So brethren, this is why I keep teaching you at all times and every day. The teachings imparted to you by the Father are directly from God and God himself is the one teaching you. He is the ruler of heaven and earth and the controller of all forces. It is because of the omnipotence of the Creator and His infinite wisdom that it is said. If it is only the King that knows the secret of His Kingdom. In other words, it is Christ who has the infinite wisdom, just as it is rightly recorded in the scripture in the book of John chapter 5 verse 30. It says, I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not mine own will, but the will of the Father which has sent me. That was the reason why Christ attributed all that he did to the Father, and also glorified only the Father. He did not give preferential treatment to one, but regarded all equally. Not only this, but he also loved everybody as himself because he was because he was aware of the fact that all belong to the Father. So brethren, let the first Bible lesson be read once again. Listen very attentively to it 
because it has its own separate lesson which would be very important to you.